just a quick shot to show you. I've already got the cases semi-split. As you can see, you got a bunch of glue, or actually silicone. That's what your original gasket was. I'm going to see if I can set the camera to the side here as I pull it off. pushing down on the input shaft. I prefer that it does not come out at the same time as everything else. If it does, it does. Your dust seal on the shifter lever that just popped through. Yep, shaft came out. That's okay. I suggest you make sure to have plenty of grease rags on hand. You're going to need them. Now let's take a look at what we find here. This is the top half of the case. Here are the two balls. They stayed in. They don't seem too inclined to want to fall out on their own. This grease here looks like it's seen better days. I don't know if you can see from the video but uh, there is traces of water in here. Grease looks good on the axles where the axles slide through. There is a lack of grease I would say. Got some rust in there, some water right there. Uh, it's pretty dirty inside. Here's where your shifter detent balls go. These holes are pretty crudded up. Got some rust right in there. Let's pull the shifter fork off. Yep, pretty nasty. That would be the problem with the hard shifting. See the rust in here. And uh, in your shift mechanism, here's where it slides as it changes gears. So we're going to have to pull all these gears out. Clean everything up. Get the case nice and clean again. Grease it and reassemble it. Pay attention to where your bearings go and uh, don't know if you can see on this side the case is square on this side that little angle notch there's going to be an angle on that bearing too so those bearings set back only in one direction if you don't get them in there the right direction they'll stick up and your case halves will not go together if you have to make you a drawing as you pull the pieces apart which part comes from where uh, hopefully you did download the exploded diagram off of the internet these things are pretty basic not a whole lot to them both these assemblies pretty much just lift out and we just start disassembling okay, as you can see I kind of pulled the back shaft out Stack the gears up in the order they came off. Stacking the bushings, washers, everything in the order they came off. Here's to show you. There's a little lake in there. Wonder why this thing wasn't shifting right, huh? So let's continue pulling everything apart. Clean it all up. And uh, go back together with it. Okay, I want to point out here on our gears off this front main shaft get the two little ear spring loaded clips here this is basically what controls your shifting through the gears if you look at the gear from one side you can see little notches that's where the ears slip through the other side is flat there is a right way and a wrong way of how this thing goes on in this particular one the flat side goes out toward the next smaller gear the inside the notches slip over the spring loaded ears this is what slides through and actually pretty much transmits power to the right gear as you can see these gears will spin free on the shaft when these dogs go in and catch inside the gear that's what locks it to put your power to the secondary shaft 
I'm working on cleaning the case out. This is the bottom half. I'm not totally done with it. I want to point out some areas to watch for or pay attention to. This case was sealed with silicone from the factory. If we get it totally clean, make a note of where all the factory did put silicone. Pretty much all around the outside of the perimeter. And right here in this middle web where the two bolts go, silicone dit. Now on these bearing holes, this bearing hole where the brake was is full of silicone. I think that was just overrun. I don't think it was intentional. I would not silicone that hole. Make sure you get it all as clean as you can before you start reassembling. Okay, we've got everything fairly cleaned up as well as it'll go. And uh, put all the gears in, put them back together. Take a little bit of finesse, but uh, you can get the gears all lined up. And uh, I just pulled everything out as an assembly, put it together on the bench as an assembly, dropped it back in. It's a little easier to get that chain on like that. Because there's not much, uh, since there's no play really in the chain, it's hard to slip it over the shaft. you got to kind of put your gear in and shove the shaft through. Just take some finesse, take your time, you'll get there. I would recommend at this point, and I've already done it, drop your top half of the case on, making sure that uh, your shift lever, the two little knobs in it, are hooked where they're supposed to be around your shift slider and do a test run before you grease it. Uh, I've already put the top on and take crescent wrench, twist it, make sure it slides in between all the gears. Uh, you'd hate to put it back together and then find out something's hung up, have to go in and clean it up again. These are normally packed with a bentonite grease. Uh, I'm going to go with just a regular wheel bearing grease in this one. I've heard of people tapping them for a pipe plug, fill them with oil. I wouldn't recommend using 90 weight oil in here. Uh, you will definitely have leaks if it does. You do have rubber seals at the shafts where they come through the housing, but it's, it's not that tight of a seal, I don't think. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing uh, oil in there. I also have heard of people tapping them and putting a grease dirt in them. That uh, I have not done yet. I may eventually, if I start having seeing too many problems out of some of them. But as long as you fill that case full of grease, you should be okay. Okay, we got it back together. A couple of steps I did not show, kind of a no-brainer. Uh, use clear RTV silicone as a sealant, uh, sealant around here. So you wouldn't have been able to see it anyway. It's clear. When you put the top on, you might have to gently tap down on it. And I do mean gently. Before you bolt the cases together, double check that all around your cases are setting flush with each other. So if you don't get one of them bronze bearings in good, the top won't mate to the bottom half. And you go tighten it down, you'll break the case. So please make sure everything is in in its proper order, in the proper place, and that those halves go down snug, just tapping it down with a light tap. Uh, under this cover, I drop the balls and springs back in. That's about all you've missed. Uh, next step, pull the brake mechanism, slide the brake disc back on here, put it back together, pull these snap rings, and we're ready to stick it back in.